Hi everyone and welcome to the third devlog, which is number two because we're programmers of New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. My name is Tom, I'm one of the developers of Cyber Launch Tycoon, which is currently on 25% sale on the Steam Winter Sale. In today's devlog, I wanted to catch you up with everything since the first devlog. Previously the idea for the game was very simple, we have a bridge, the bridge contains empty lots for shops, there is buy shops and compete with each other to win over customers, with the main goal being to monopolize the bridge and rule them all. That's the main goal of the game. This sounds nice but actually pretty boring in practice, so I've been adding more ideas. This was influenced by the game Rise of Industry, which is a great game. The new ideas that I added to, to the game are resource management, which means each shop needs certain ingredients to serve their food. The player needs to manage these resources and make sure they have enough resources to serve the customers throughout the day. So to get resources, there are three options. Either buy them from the city, buy from other players, or produce them yourself. Which introduces another idea that I came up with, is building factories to produce resources. Currently, we have the bridge, the upper level contains the shops and the customers, and the lower level of the bridge, the player can buy factories and produce certain ingredients. These ingredients in return they can use either for their own shops, or they can sell them to other players. And obviously both the shops and the factories can be upgraded to make them better, more efficient, produce more, accept more customers and etc. And the last idea that I want to add is sabotaging other players, their shops or their factories. So an idea for example is that you can send an army of rats into someone's shop, making this shop closed for that day or closed until the player manages and gets rid of the, of the rats because no customers want to buy food in a restaurant full of rats. And to build on that idea, the player who got sabotaged can report another player who they think they sabotaged them, and if they're correct, by proving somehow, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it, but either by just guessing or proving or whatever, if they're right, the player who sabotaged them will get penalized. So either they're gonna have to close for the day, or they're their shop's rating is gonna go down, or the factory is gonna get penalized, something like that. I need to come up with something. Okay, so that was the new ideas that I'm coming up with. Now let's look at the actual game and see what changed in the last three weeks. Okay, let's start with the main menu. If previously it looked like this, this is it now. I added a few buttons, I added animations for the buttons, I added, added the title, and the actual bridge. So the bridge is an asset that I got from the Unity Asset Store, but as a beginning this is great. I'm modifying it a bit to suit my game better. I'm expanding the top level. I will have to create new materials so it blends well with the shops and, and the style of the game. And I will have to modify the object a bit. But yeah, basically this is the Brooklyn Bridge. Next, we're gonna have the lobby. The lobby also changed. This is gonna be the lobby. On the left side you're gonna have the list of all the players and the AIs. On the right side you will have all the options that you can do in the lobby and there are different options between the client and the host. The game settings are gonna be the difficulty of the session. So I'm planning on doing a few difficulty levels for the game and to give the player the ability to change the modifiers as they please. And then, and as you can immediately see I added some pedestrians to the game. These are not gonna be the actual models for the pedestrians. These are the models from the Cintip character pack, which I used in the Cyber Launch Tycoon. So for this game, I do not want to reuse them. I wanna find something else. Yeah, and the, this, this is happening, not sure why. And some more changes to the shops. I added a burger shop. So now there are three options, the pizzeria, sushi bar, and the burger shop. I added bind shop animation. So now there are burgers exploding in your face or pizzas exploding in your face, or when you buy the sushi bar, there is sushis exploding in your face, which I think is kind of cute. And now inside the shop, I also changed the UI a bit. This is still work in progress. So now instead of clicking on the upgrades, you will have a selection here, and you immediately could see the storage of the shop, which will list all the ingredients that the shop currently has, and all the ingredients that the shop needs to produce its food. So different shop will have different ingredients. And yes, that's a bug. It was supposed to open. And the last thing I added for the shops is the option to sell them. And now a different player can come and buy their own shop in there. 
So yeah, these are the updates for the last three weeks. I'm continuing working on the game. I'm still lacking the Steam page. I'm working on that as well too. I just need to add a few more stuff to the game to make the visuals a bit better and then I will have I will be able to make some screenshots and upload them to the page because if I remember correctly Steam requires you at least five screenshots. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to see me struggling live while developing the game, you can head to my Twitch channel. For any other updates, you can check out my Twitter. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time.